All right, Natasha Wakefield, what you got for me? Do you know what frustrates me a lot is guys say they don't want a girl that goes out a lot, right? Which is fair enough because I don't want a guy that's out a lot. As in like out clubbing and things like that, right? But what do I, what am I supposed to do on the weekends? Like, what am I supposed to do? What, sit at home Friday and Saturday night? I'm not doing that. I'm not going to clubs, but I'm definitely going to go to a bar. And sometimes I don't even drink. Sometimes I don't even drink. This is just a token of the times, right? People in general, I mean, obviously women, right? But people in general, I even say guys too, are so characterless. There's nothing else that you could possibly be doing other than going out. So you get to a certain point, you realize that going out isn't all that, right? It's a good opportunity to maybe meet new people and all this. And I understand that component, but a lot of times it's just to get that emotional fix of the chaos, throw in some attention. I mean, look, this video itself, you can see already, I move this bar here, you can see already it's a thirst trap. It's very obviously a little bit of a thirst trap video because if you're going to put a video online, you can choose to make yourself look a lot of different ways. We're going to throw on the nonchalant sports bra and we're going to pretend like, no, oh, well, I just dress like this at home when in reality, it's uh, very clear a bid for attention, right? You're proving my point right here where you probably go out in a similar way and you attract attention because that's what you crave on some level. If you have a boyfriend, why would your boyfriend want you to go out and essentially garner more attention? You're obviously at that point if you're not conscious about it, you're subconsciously seeking something better, right? And we all know this is happening. Well, all of us, clearly not all of us. The real ones know it's happening. And when you start to analyze this behavior, you get that feeling in your, in your, in your stomach, right? It's like that instinct kicks in when you know something is not right. That's that instinct. Okay? Your instinct is telling you that she's just not that into you. Now, the question is, is she even into anybody? Are her standards way too high? Well, that's a whole other conversation. But for the sake of this video, the point is in that moment, you feel that instinct, she's not that into you, and now essentially the relationship's on the rocks, right? All because for you, seeking attention and validation is more important than being at home, right? That's the whole point. That's the whole point here. I'll go out with my girlfriends and I'm home before midnight. And it looks like I go out every weekend. Also, I have to point out the masculine tendencies, right? Like this girl is obviously attractive on some level. I don't care. Comments don't start roasting her and being like, oh, she's not even a four or five. Like she's obviously attractive, right? But the masculine tendencies, we're eating on camera, we're sort of talking with food in our mouth. Like she just doesn't care. She's trying to present this like, I'm a cool girl. I don't care. But she's coming off extremely masculine and sort of in your face with the points, right? So you can tell that she has not really made a relationship last that long. That I can almost guarantee you. So it's not surprising that she's out here talking about going out and all these things. And I'm out every night. I'm not. I'm just, I'm just out sometimes just having a Pepsi Max. Because what else am I going to do? Sit at home. Where do I meet someone? And then all the guys that I meet at the bar are just like, all the guys that I meet at the bar are usually in the toilets doing other things. I'm not interested in that. Well, it's because you're going to specific bars where that's the thing to do. Like this, this it's such an obvious contradiction. I mean, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go to the club, but I will go to the bar. But the guys at the bar, they're in the toilets doing stuff. It's like none of this makes any sense. Go to areas where the guy you want will be, and prepare yourself to be the type of girl that that guy would want. It's not that complicated of a concept. It's just that girls don't want to do anything because they feel entitled to the ideal man with zero work or effort. It's because all these loser guys keep giving them infinite amounts of attention for free and give them the illusion of optionality. All these options are essentially non, they're non-options really, but they give her the illusion of abundance, right? So she thinks that guys are super abundant. So she feels that she could be super picky and choosy. So in the end, the only guy that actually gets the chance is the guy that can make her emotions go up and down like a roller coaster. Those are very specific guys. Guys that have a lot of experience, typically. So you know where that where that goes. What am I supposed to do? Either sit at home and complain I can't find anyone, or I go out to socialize, and apparently it looks like I'm a party girl. I'm not a party girl. I just don't know what to do. What do I, what do I meet someone? It's not that hard 
to meet someone. You probably already have met somebody. You likely disqualify them because your list of requirements is too high and you want something that's impossible to get, okay? You want the guy that can do all of these things while simultaneously doing all the other things. Example, you want a guy that's super nice and listens to everything you say, but then he goes out in the world and he doesn't do that for anybody else but you. And it just doesn't make sense. It's never gonna be this way. The guy you really want is the guy that's gonna go and get stuff done, okay? And he's not gonna care that much about your emotions either, right? But when he doesn't care about your emotions, that bothers you because you're conditioned to think that guys need to essentially bow down to you, right? But then you're conflicted internally because the guy you actually want is the guy that doesn't care about your emotions, but you're still gonna create chaos in the relationship because whatever, because you watched Disney movies growing up and now you're gonna break up with that guy, now you're gonna complain how you can't find another guy because every other guy is unattractive after that point. It's, it's not that complicated, but it is complicated because girls are just taught this, this idea that a guy has to be essentially perfect and they say it's not true, but it is. But perfect by what standard? like a Disney standard. It's fantasy. It's never going to exist and never has existed. So it's quite a sad thing, but it is what it is. I don't really feel bad for her in any way. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my private content, click the link in the description below.